Hello YouTube, my name is Abum and now I will continue about creating a function in Visual Basic 2010. Okay, I have a project VB database. If you see in previous uh, tutorial, I have an application like this. I have login form and I can log in to my form and now I will show you how to insert data to your table okay I go to uh, form one design okay and here maybe I need mm, button I need button and I need maybe label I need text box okay like this and in label I add a name maybe user name and text box I add a name maybe tb username tbun maybe like this and copy label and okay maybe I add a label again here and maybe I need uh, insert data maybe like this and I need bigger bigger font and okay maybe 14 okay like this and here select label and text box and press CTRL and click and drag like this here I need password okay and here I need TB pass TB pass maybe like this and button I need a PTN insert maybe like this and here insert new data maybe like this okay I have a button and text box and maybe I add a bigger font maybe 10 ah, okay maybe 12 okay like this now double click the button and you must insert a function to insert before I do that, I go to show my DB dataset. Okay, double click, double click this, and you have a member table, and right click here and select use SQL statement and next. Here I choose insert next and I want to use query builder click this and you have a display like this and I need username and password okay like this insert into member username and password okay and I think it's right and 
I just click OK here and next ah sorry number username password okay here I don't need this and delete and next maybe I need insert maybe U and P insert query U and P username and password press next and finish now I have insert query and you must go to build build project okay I have like this and now I go to form and here I need variable team and DB and as new uh, my DB data set table adapter and dot member table adapter and here I add variable again team and db table maybe like this and equal and here I need uh, db dot and now you have insert query u and p click this and we must add two parameter here first parameter username and second parameter password now I add a tb un dot tag okay and comma tb pass dot tag okay just like this now if I go to here I don't have a uh, refresh to function to uh, list box or or uh, data grid view okay I don't show message okay I add comment here and if I try my application and I log in with Agus and one two three four login now I have form like this and if I add a maybe bam bam and one two three four insert new data if I close and I begin Agus and one two three four login I have a bam bam but if you uh, close maybe uh, one minute or two minute if you apply your start begin again your application uh, your data gone the new data gone is gone if I start debugging again and Agus and one two three four login uh, sorry I have I still have maybe uh, okay uh, I will explain about this if you open your project okay I go to my project and visual basic and here I have a VB database if you open your project folder you have mydb.mdf in first loaded in application load loaded the application load this database and if uh, application running he the application add database here maybe 
this is uh, argument to to we lose the data entry maybe like this and i will continue in next video if you like my tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching goodbye